Welcome to Booze and the Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make some blue steel. Now, this cocktail is very citrus forward, and it has a gorgeous blue aquamarine color to it. As you can tell, just based on the ingredients, at least that's what I'm pretty sure it's going to look like. And it is a shaking cocktail, so make sure you have your shaking glass or tin, whatever you want to shake it in. Grab yourself a lime, give it a bit of a roll, and then cut it in half and squeeze one ounce or 30 milliliters into the glass. Your next ingredient is very citrus forward as well. We're going to use some limoncello. Now I'm using Rossi Disagio, Rossi Disagio, and I hope I pronounced that correctly. But this is 32% ABV, and it has a lot of sugar that'll help to balance out the lemon and the lime. And we're going to use a total of a half an ounce or 15 mils. The third ingredient that we're going to use today is another citrus forward liqueur. Now this is blue curacao, which is an orange liqueur, dyed blue of course, uh, but I'm using bowls here, it's 21% ABV. And the one thing you need to remember between both of these liqueurs, A, they both have a lot of sugar in them, so they'll balance out a lot of these flavors, but both of them will have varying degrees of ABV or alcohol by volume. But we're going to use the same amount here of half an ounce or 15 mils. Now your next ingredient you can make adjustments to. And what I mean by adjustments is we're actually using mezcal for this. And I'm going to use a full two ounces of that, but you could split the base to say a tequila mezcal even, or even offset that a little bit depending on how much of the smoke that you want in your cocktail. Now I'm using Madre Mezcal, which is 45% ABV. And as I said, we're gonna use two ounces, which works out to 60 milliliters. Our next step is to fill the glass with ice. Now we want to shake it really good for a full 10 to 15 seconds. That way everything really combines and chills and dilutes just the right way. So as I said, make sure you've got it full with a bunch of good sized ice. Slap your lid on top, make sure it's on silent, give it a flip, and sh I just said make sure it's on silent, didn't I? Well, anyways, shake it with a smile. So what you want to do now is pop that off with the strength of a thousand limes, put it off to the side, and grab yourself a nice, elegant Nick and Nora glass because we want to have something pretty today. Grab yourself both strainers because we want to make sure that we keep any ice chunks and or uh, pulp from the limes out. Absolutely gorgeous. Take a look at that. Look at the color, it's more blue than I thought it would be, and a little bit less aquamarine. It smells absolutely fantastic. Just a hint of the smoke. Mm, really good. You've got a little bit of those citrus notes for all of the combination, but they're not overly strong because the uh, sugar from each of the liqueurs blends it and binds it really, really well, thereby balancing it out with the mezcal. That smoke is there, it's present, but it's not overwhelming. If you like this style of cocktail, take a look right here.